now we are focusing on nuclear fusion reaction this reaction is really important when we are going to discuss about universe because this is the source of energy for this universe particularly for life system on earth this reaction is really important i am talking of nuclear fusion reaction it takes place in various steps but in order to make it simplify i am giving you this reaction in only one step so uh, where uh, say this is hydrogen atom this is nucleus of hydrogen now you are aware that nucleus of uh, atom is very very tiny small object than atom but all four nuclei of atom uh, of this hydrogen they are fusing together to give you only one single atom so here there are hydrogen atoms they are converted into helium atom where nuclear fusion is taking place now this occurs at very high temperature where there is plasma state of matter so electrons are not there around atom only nuclei are there we are calling that uh, reaction required very high temperature even more than lag degree celsius temperature is required then this reaction occurs where we are getting higher nucleus so simply hydrogen 1 1 four atoms of this hydrogen will combine to give helium 2 4 plus obviously purposely i am showing this very very high amount of energy is liberated in this reaction <clears throat> this is the principle of nuclear bomb here we are getting nuclear bomb on basis of this type of reaction uh, uh basis of hydrogen bomb nuclear bomb only but it is called as hydrogen bomb or fusion bomb this is principle of this fusion bomb and we are getting combination of four hydrogen atom into helium plus in this mass loss tremendous energy is produced that energy is in form of light energy then heat etc this reaction is continuously going on sun sun is essentially uh having hydrogen that hydrogen because of very high gravity uh because mass of sun is very high because of that high gravity it get contract and in core part this reaction starts out and then uh because of this reaction sun is giving us this type of energy keep in mind we are getting very less energy of sun uh approximately 1 by 2000 millionth part of energy given by sun is reaching on earth surface it's negligible say what is energy given by sun is 1 then divided by 2000 into 10 to 6 that is six zeros more only that much energy is reaching on earth surface and still we are saying it's very hot today temperature may rise to 40 degree 45 degree even on some places of our temperature can rise till 50 55 degree celsius also this is the reason that a uh, life system is surviving on earth we are having source of energy predominantly as these reactions so on sun this reaction is going on so nearly 71% hydrogen is there as per our estimation 71% hydrogen is there on sun whereas approximately 26% helium is produced on sun so uh, it is believed that 5 billion years is life of sun till death age of sun and it can produce energy uh, till 5 5 billion years more so we are exactly at that midth portion of sun's life now sun is we can say young and it is having still 71% hydrogen but what will happen if entire hydrogen is 
exhausted. Obviously, after a certain amount of hydrogen is exhausted, this reaction will stop. As a result, temperature of sun will start decreasing out. It's very simple. Now, in case of sun, we have to consider two important forces. Because of gravity, it should shrink out. And because of high temperature, it should expand out. Now, it is at equilibrium position. That means balance position. Gravity is allowing it to shrink, whereas temperature is rising out. But uh, you will imagine after that, because of rising temperature will not dare, sun will start shrinking out. Uh, not necessary sun for any other star. And then may be possible if sufficient gravity is there, that means sufficient mass of sun is there, then it may continue next fusion reaction that uh, helium will combine together to give carbon 612. So this new element that carbon is produced by combination of this helium, three helium atoms will combine together to give one carbon atom. Now you are aware that carbon as we discussed in organic chemistry part or chemistry of carbon compounds that is carbon is it's really essential uh, for life. So uh, first element is hydrogen that is fundamental element available in nature uh, particularly in the space. Second uh, helium is produced for a while but that helium may be converted into carbon and so on. The last element produced in this way that is iron 2656. This is the last element produced in this type of fusion reactions. Rest of elements are produced by transmutation reaction naturally occurring transmutations. Uh, it is believed like that only. Now when we are talking of this carbon various stars are having this type of carbon production in their core. Consider very high pressure and very high temperature. Carbon will convert into diamond. Diamond is uh, considered as allotrope of carbon only. The purest form of carbon that is diamond. So what poetry we listen in childhood that is twinkle twinkle little star that is really that star is made up of diamond only just imagine how the beautiful star should be at end of its life everything is converted into diamond like that various miracles are there in the space now here we are talking of fusion reaction fusion reactions are more safer than fission because in fission reaction harmful radiations are produced and harmful elements are produced but in fusion reaction helium carbon now it is not possible on earth so on earth if you make this the reaction this is possible now in this reaction we are calling as hydrogen bomb this first bomb was produced by ussr and then onwards usa which was very very effective much more explosive than nuclear bomb or atomic bomb that was uh, based on fission principle even more powerful than plutonium bomb and this way we are having uh, another tool for destruction that is hydrogen bomb have you observed hydrogen bomb blast answer is yes whatever you are observing on sun on various stars that is hydrogen fusion reaction only so it is some sort of bombs only so we can observe that but from very long distance for example 15 crore kilometers average distance between sun and earth so we are observing that blast from 15 crore kilometers but on earth practically answer is yes <coughs> videos are available on YouTube you can check out the hydrogen bomb videos of uh, on YouTube you will get that videos. Now hydrogen bomb is again destructive measure. 
I want to control this reaction also. But it is very difficult. Why? Because in order to start this reaction, very very high gravitational field is required which is not possible on earth. Then second thing is there that very high temperature is required that is even more than lakh degree Celsius which can be obtained only by nuclear bomb. So in order to start this I had to explode nuclear bomb and then only this reaction will start and so it is not possible for me to use me means for scientists uh, to use this chemical reaction for a peaceful purpose that is development of energy it is not possible here by uh, using this type of fusion reaction actually it must be but not whereas helium 2 3 is intermediate product of this reaction if you have helium 2 3 then we can use that to produce heat and in controlled manner but we are not getting this unfortunately otherwise it will be very easy for us to make reaction uh, this is intermediate product and suppose we are getting this he23 isotope in abundant quantity then we can produce tremendous energy may be possible it is said i have heard about that that uh, scientists are planning to visit moon the study purpose of moon is like that also that one uh, may uh, suspect that moon is having this he23 and then if you bring it back on earth then we can solve our energy crisis problem of energy with this type of isotope he23 so fusion reaction is not possible uh, in controlled manner reasons are so many out of that important reason in order to start this reaction very high gravitational field is required uh, force is required which is not possible on earth and secondly very high temperature is required if gravitational force is not available then we have to go by very high temperature so this high temperature is not possible uh, unless we can explode nuclear bomb but scientists with their efforts they are saying that there is chance that we can start out this reaction at low temperature that we are calling as cold fusion reaction don't be under impression that cold fusion reaction that means reaction which is carried out at very low temperature that means cold means what uh, somewhere minus 10 degree minus 20 degree no cold fusion reaction starts at 5000 degree celsius by using hydrogen ion one can start this type of reaction this is called as cold fusion reaction but it is yet under experimentation certain doubts are there that indian scientists are having success in making this type of cold fusion reaction but i don't have any evidence uh, till date so the, this type you can search on cold fusion reaction on internet you will get various data about this cold fusion reaction but for us this is supposed to be the end of this lecture because whatever superficial knowledge is required we have discussed we have not discussed at depth actually this topic is vast we are just going on superficial knowledge but now you are aware what is source of energy for earth that is sun that is based on this fusion reaction what is the elements we are having that we discuss uh, how they are prepared from hydrogen now you are aware because of that all fusion reactions and then transmutation type of reactions are responsible so here we can conclude out simply that uh, this topic whatever we discuss that is having certain ideas number one nuclear instability why nuclear should be unstable then uh, it is stable then why it is stable then various factors affecting on nuclear stability then we discuss about radiations uh, particularly radioactivity various aspects of radioactivity we discuss then because of that we can able to get artificial and uh, natural radioactivity then production of new elements that is synthetic elements or transuranide elements then fusion reaction fission reaction 
and various uses of isotopes yet what you have to do you have to carry out list number 1 applications of nuclear chemistry in field of agriculture in field of biology in field of surgery in field of uh, research like that we have to check out now in field of uh, medicinal science or surgery we are using uh, various isotopes as diagnostic tool whereas various isotopes are used for treatments also we have to check out that say for example radioactive iodine is used to diagnose disorder in thyroid gland and particularly thyroxine secretion so like that you have to check out various uh, yeah, applications of these radioactive elements and list out prepare that list that list is useful from exam point of view this is the end of our lecture that is radiochemistry